So like with this spiky, you're gonna see a lot of people running the scarab in the middle. I think this is better. And I don't think it's close. These triple aqua teams are one of the, the toughest. One option we could do, since this guy goes is gonna go first, we can set up fear traps if we speed up. And that allows us to get value out of this dude. We just have to avoid the swift escape. I think this is what we're gonna do though. It's definitely a little bit greedy, but since this guy always goes first, we can always fear them. Just can't always kill them. And we're gonna do it this way because we don't know where the sandal's gonna go. So we just make sure we get him with the kill. They could get one heal off. I guess I didn't think about this. Fortunately, this it still kills. Smart play by them. Oh, the crit. They're still at five. So I really want to do that, but they can do that their thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? This swift escape, you gotta watch out for this. They'll trick you. They'll play that four card swift escape power. Okay, nice. Now they're on six energy. Now we can now we can play cards. Yeah, because this guy can never speed up. So we're always gonna be able to fear this guy unless this guy used two coys. Which is not likely. One Koi kind of messes with their plans. They're at six. They play all their energy with one. They're at four energy. Now we can set up a chain kill with a cute bunny at the end. We can't we can't Koi anymore. We've used all our Koi's. This is just so worth it. They could put up like 160 shield, which this should kill, but it technically could maybe last stand. But look at this, look at this. Patagos, Patagos cute bunny. Why is not everyone running this team? Yep, okay, smart pass. But now you go first and you're feared twice. <laughs> and we just do this. They have no, they have no options. They're dead. Feels good, man. Feels good. I just don't like that this guy is going to die without value. We've seen a bone sale. So I don't care that much about... Yeah, I'm doing it. I mean, this feels this feels kind of weird and kind of unnecessary. I'm doing it, though. I just... I'm sad to not get value from this guy, but that's a lot of shield to hit. Passing probably does way better. We live jumps. They do that. That was, I mean, that was smart to deal with the, the fear. We do live, though, which is part of... I mean, we would have lived anyway by a very small amount. Part of what we like about the play. Now we can force them to waste their jumps again. And then this guy can be the guy that deals with this guy. Should we do it this way? Alright, we're doing it. Nice. This guy can't go back door because we feared him for two turns. This guy uses... Or whatever it's called. That means we keep this guy healthy. And this guy only has one jump left. And now... Now we're just good to go. He should... Mm, maybe we... We might want to... We might be better off saving this. But this is a really cool play. Because now they can't jump next turn. So we can force them into our cattail. If we choose. Okay, now we're just gonna... Force them into our cattail this way. It's the same concept though. That they won't be able to jump. And they'll just be dead also. Which is good. So like with this spiky, you're going to see a lot of people running the scarab in the middle. I think this is better. And I don't think it's close. They're, they're not going to use the bird now. They're not going to jump, right? We're just, we're just going to do this. No value, but serious value. Damage. They're at four. At some point in our lives, we're going to sack this bird. I don't think we'd be greedy. I think we just go like this. If we'd sack the bird, we're in a great position. Except for that this guy's faster than us. 
these dudes passing are just getting value on us by passing. You can't jump if I don't let you. Unless if this guy goes. <laughs> weird, weird spot. Weird spot. Okay, this guy. Oh, no. They do go. Okay, they can't jump if I don't let them. They're at six energy. They're at zero energy. A bird has served its role. We're going to... Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky for us. Nice crit. Um, okay, now they can jump because the speed up. And then go double back door. That was smart. Nice. Nice play. So let's speed up so we can set up a Q bunny play. And not be dead. Uh, make sure we go this order in case we get last stood. I think this is the play though. Uh, two Arcos? Two Arcos is kind of wrong. We need one Arco. We have to do it this way. Okay, they're at four. The Arcos is interesting because this guy exists with Arco. They're on three energy. Okay, we do okay versus this guy. So we're actually going to save the cute bunny because they can just avoid it. This guy goes first. They can't avoid it. They have to play around it. And then we just, I guess we do it this way. Very nice crit. No, no, fear just lasts a certain number of turns. They're on no energy, right? Okay. We gotta hope they don't draw their cattails. God mech who? God mech who? Uh. <laughs> Are you smarter than a caterpillar plant? And I don't think it's close. <laughs>